Welcome back everyone, sorry about that, I wasn't ready, I was going to test the sound first because I noticed last time I screwed myself and um, recording was, uh, the, the microphone setting was really horrible. So uh, let me check if I'm online, yes it says online, let's check the channel. Alright, it seems I'm online. I changed the type because it seems everyone who programs using these categories, there is no categories uh, for symbol programming or monogame or whatever. And I had a few stuff in here. And um, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't have any way to show the chat except if it is in Be Right Back. Oh, only one thing I need to do. Can I do that here? No, 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 no. I said edit. Sorry about that, I just wanted to um, change the timer to 10 minutes. What else, what else, what else? I don't know what else. Uh, what else is close this? And uh, all right, uh, um, let's see what do we have in the to do list. I've been watching a few programmers on the Twitch, and they get traffic and they're doing a really great job and they have interesting projects. And um, oh, today's Tuesday, damn it. I feel it's Friday. Time passes really fast these days. Um, to do list, yes, let's go to do list. So we need to test the conditions. Our first test on how these conditions and hopefully it will work. <sighs> And we need to finish making the new action condition system. So let's take a look. Let's take a look. So let's start the timer. And um, yesterday we successfully, uh, we, I, I like the, the usage of word we, uh, making the character change the animation and based on the animation, he moves, but it's uh, not like before. Before, the animation class is kind of the one who's responsible on firing the move. So if something made the animation fail, he won't move. Uh, maybe I lost that because... It completely see it's the it's part of the animation. That's why I need to remove the script from the animation now. And now it's not. Hmm. It's better in one way that I can reuse the animation to do other stuff and do different behavior. And bad because maybe I can get animation bugs like a character uh, show the walk animation but it's not moving because some screwed up in, in the script. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I mean, uh, this one is not strongly tied. Actually, I've been watching someone who's uh, who start doing um, the skeleton work for his uh, game and for his tools to make data-driven objects for Unity RTS. And he's doing something similar that I've been doing in 2016, defining the uh, classes that generate the objects. And I call these classes like creature class, weapon class, fire class, um, ba bag class. Uh, he called it ar archetype, which is actually it's a better name than call it a class. And uh, I'm thinking to rename my uh, stuff to archetype, but uh, no, I will keep it. I will keep it. 
So um, I should start working already. So what we are doing? What we were doing? So um, walk should walk right if the face right. So it's testing the side. So this is the side. So um, <sighs> this will be a little bit confusing. So we need to add a section to the creature and let's add it as first. Let's make all the condition sections starts. Uh, we define them first. Conditions. This is not a real interpreter. I removed my interpreter. I am not using the interpreter. Screw the interpreter. It's really powerful. It's really useful. It's really a headache to update. Let me open this. So it is not a real condition. So it's uh, the expression will look kind of fake. So this guy have a profile, great, uh, let's give a name to the condition, so let's call it check, should I really make an abbreviation for a five character word and uh, it's only five for letters, just to save two letters, check, side. F object uh, creature object tag So, um, do I need to make try cache to parse a string? I don't know. First of all, we need to convert the object, because it's a general object, into uh, creature object. Um, Come on, can I type today? Uh, CRO is equal to creature object. A symbol casting. If, actually we don't need it, but oh well. Uh, I don't want to have crashes with my games in the future, but in the same time, um, sometimes it's better to have a crash so you get aware there's a problem in your game when you're testing it over and over. I don't know. Um, now let's just do it. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's uh, do byte side is equal to um, byte bars t. If we don't need an F. We don't even need this actually. We don't need this either. Are you done? And we don't need this. So we don't need anything in the world. Let's remove everything in the world and game over. If That side is equal to um, two false. Uh, 
Oh, this is a question mark. All right. So let's use the secret that we just created. Pray, 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 pray. So what we need to do is we have a backup system and it's working, right? I mean, you don't want to screw yourself up because you're testing stuff. Yep, we have backups running. So yesterday is um, 4th, 4th of January. So yeah, these are the old files that yesterday I generated. So we have backups running, so I shouldn't worry too much about screwing myself up. So let's go to the map simulator 3 and let's make our script. So it should be uh, F. Check side zero. Then wait, 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 wait. Uh, later on, I could use the uh, script editor, the micro builder. The, 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 the. Oh, I didn't add it here. Why? I believe I added it here. Did I remove it? Anyway. Uh, where am I going? I'm going around, running around like a headless chicken. Um, conditions. The F is small. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay. So, if check side zero, then move. Um, let's make it two. How do I do else? Um, you like this? So let's check. This is our first condition. Yeah, else. We have an else. Move minus two, zero. Pray. Pray, pray, pray. But no, this is confusing. No, this won't work. You can't have more than one semicolon like this. Hmm. Is it a sema? Is it a colon? Yeah, it won't work with semicolon. I need to remove them. Only one at the end. That's why I memorized the position, the index of else and index of then. But save. Alright. Alright. Alright, save. Oh, didn't I tell myself I'm going to add something in here to replace the file? So I don't have to go to the script wizard and do this, but let's do it. I'm going just to test it. I'm not going to do This is a, ha uh, a skill, a habit, an experience. I don't know what you call it. A realization that the first test, just do it blindly and see how it works. Don't worry too much about, oh, maybe this don't work, maybe this, just freaking test it. So we have this script. That's why we have it here. Oh, oh, oh. I need to move it down, yeah, we'll make it smaller. Yeah, not that small. So we have, the expression is correct. Check size zero. 
Did I add it in the correct position? No, I didn't add it in the correct position, did I? No, it is in the share condition, so they should understand that this check side here, okay. And we have an else. And it seems he understood. 16 to 26. Oh, this is the length. Great. Uh, this is J minus K. It's J minus K. J minus K. I believe. Um, even in here, the uh, script is the full script. I need to remove the keyword, even in here. Great. Um, okay, okay, okay. We won't keep it in one line. Hey, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking, Mr. Oh, is that a Russian name? I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it. So we need to remove the first keyword. So let's do that. A is equal to zero. Um, here we do share function token. T, uh, reference K, and here we need to take the second keyword, which is, and uh, give it a test. I'm working on my game engine, and I'm replacing my control system completely, which is a lot of work. And now I'm adding conditions to my script so I can use conditions in my scripts, defined conditions. So this is the first actual test to the system. And now when I press right, he should move right. But of course I will get a crash. I mean, of course I will get a crash. So uh, this script received the move 02. And it take the first one and it shouldn't... Hmm... So the test didn't uh, didn't remove the keyword from the results. Okay, no problem, no problem, no problem. So he received the condition and checked the side and it was right. It was side on the right side of the character, so it should move right, which is move two. And here is the script. Actually, this is the editor. Where is the editor? We go to editing the game file. We go to uh, the characters, not here, here. And we go to walk. And if the check side is zero, then move two, which is correct. But the guy is sending, um, hmm. That's an interesting way to do movement. Why did you decide on delegating in but to a custom script instead of doing it in code? That's a long story, but it was in code. In the test game two, the older project, everything was in a hard code. But I got a lot of problems. One of them is scalability. If I want to do exact movement to a different type of characters, I need to make all code again to that character. So I saved them in sections. And there's, um, I yesterday I talked a lot about it. And actually I wrote a blog about it. And my website. Was it done as a learning experience? 
Actually, I just said I have my own interpreter in my first prototype for the game engine. Uh, yeah, I can talk about my old work forever. This prototype was made when I was in university for the second time in 2012, 2011, and it has its own interpreter, but I forgot how to deal with it. The problem is with interpreter, if you know what the interpreter is, it, it can do crazy stuff like op math operations and precedence and even uh, parentheses. Uh, but the, the, oh wow, did it crash? Did I do a mistake in a space? The uni uh, minus has a problem, by the way. So if I do uni minus sometimes, I need the space or whatever. Uh, the problem is whenever I need to deal with a new thing in the game engine, I need to redefine it to the interpreter. So if I have a creature and I want to access the, uh, the side, I want to access the speed, I need to define to interpreter what does creature mean and what does side mean and what does... And big no, big no. I just... Uh, big freaking no. Uh, let's close this. So slowly over the years, I start dealing with scripts by using uh, dynamic actions more and more till I made a way let me show you I made a huge uh, page to collect all the systems uh, initialize vase to initialize this script it's the game I and I in the game engine where is the game engine this is the game engine Uh, if you came two days ago, you see you would watch me doing the standardized uh, verse where I make all of them look together the same way. I made dictionaries as pools for the scripts. It defined the type of pools. So now I'm working on conditions. So I'm making a condition pool to uh, search and uh, use these uh, dynamic functions as a script. So the, the best way about it, I can uh, use the tool and then I can export them and import them easily. I can say, hey, this class, I will copy all its functionalities and all its scripts. It's much easier to maintain and scale like this. So where, what was the crashing? Let's go back to the code. Feel free for asking. You're the first uh, viewer who is asking me a question about the work, and I'm happy to receive more. So yeah, the problem is, I'm not sure to be honest. Uh, the keyword, it's it should work far right actually, because uh, oh, it shouldn't. It shouldn't use the shared functions. It should use the uh, creature functions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I yesterday I said I need to find a way to uh, figure out how to use the right uh, function at the end. Oh, sure, it's in my... Um, I lost some of the blogs because the website kept crashing. If you go to my Twitch page, It's in here, this section. No, not this section, where is it? Oh, sorry, it seems I forgot to put it in here. <laughs> uh, but this is my website in here. You can access my website in here. I was going to put the link in here and it seems I forgot. And in here. 2021 update, so let me copy the link. It's, it's a long, it's a long blog. I do too long blogs. I talk too much. It's part of my work, unfortunately. No problem. Thank you for uh, passing by. 
Oh, uh, thank you for interest. Oh, thank you. I don't know. I'm really bad at an interaction, I guess. Find share function. Now, my first idea when I made conditions, I was like, let's make a condition system for each system. The creatures will call them the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Um, the campaign will call them, the backs will call them. Then I was like, no, 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 it must be uh, general. It must be used by everyone. And um, I was like, I'll figure it out. I will figure it out when I reach to the state. It has been uh, quite a lot of work, actually. Now we need to find a way to make this step dynamic. In other words, in other words, I could send the dynamic function in here. Can I? Um, can I have a variable for different types of, like the pointer for which, um, down. To be honest, I don't know. Well, I sent actions before. Where did I do that? No, I replaced them usually. Mm. Let me check my refactor page, uh, the uh, page that I made when I start mm, refactoring my older work. Let's see. How action conditions work? Okay, I read this yesterday, and I reached where all of them take creature object. I believe we can replace them with function. Instead of having a quick condition, we we are not worried about the character and the control system. We are worried about the conditions. It seems easier to debug and editing action condition request walk list. So we have action condition, that's hashtag again. We are not dealing with action condition. Oh boy. All right, so this page focus only on action condition. I didn't go far with the actions, I guess, with the, I mean, conditions. Now I'm tripping over myself. Uh, Yeah, so let's add this as a task. Let me try to focus the ideas. Now the, con the expression and condition worked. How to decide which pool of uh, scripts should we use? And the, all the systems that using scripts, I go to the pools one by one and check. Do you have the script I'm using? Do you have the script I'm using? By checking the first keyword. And uh, now, but this is the initialize uh, race. It will only work once. It will memorize which circuit location is for each circuit is written. Very, very neat uh, system. Uh, maybe I should do the same thing with condition. Yeah, it's the same thing in condition, actually. It return the... Um, that's it. It return it. Okay, okay, okay. 
<laughs> this is not the longest vlog I ever wrote. Don't worry. I wrote emails longer than that in my life. Be glad you're not my colleague or my professor at that time. <laughs> I literally wrote emails longer than that. I believe extreme introverts have this kind of uh, style. Sure, go ahead. Why can initialization vary? Um, this is a condition function. Everyone in the uh, system, in the game engine system, can use a condition. And at the end, the condition, it return one script. The problem is the condition script is checking only the general use secrets. I need to make it uh, smarter to know which kind of secrets we need. You have multiple different script initialized things. Yeah, uh, for each system. For each system, I used to have uh, this function inside the, uh, the classes. Like the fire initializes its own fire things, the equipment initializes its own equipment. But the problem is when I was programming them, every each one of them have a little bit different. One of them take the whole script, one of them take only the parameters, one of them take the triggers and the parameters and the keyword. And I was like, this is not going to work if I'm going to uh, to introduce a general pool for conditions like for select case switch and if and choose all of these kinds of uh, conditional uh, statements so um, it was hazy it was really uh, chaotic to jump from one class to another because I don't have one or two classes let me close the game uh, project uh, in the g engine itself I have, um, I don't know how many classes. I myself don't know. I have a lot of classes. So each class deals with its own scripts. It initial, it takes the, script, the, the, uh, the text and generate a pool of scripts by picking the, them. It, it's a long process. And uh, for example, this one for the fire attack, this one for attack, this one for the campaign, this one for the ca uh, the quest, the quest initialized. Quests have different parts of scripts, and each one one of them check uh, does the script is under this pool or under this pool or under this pool. I have a pool called share functions that contain all general kinds of scripts, like playing a sound. Or, um, what else in the share function? There's like 68, and I can remember only one. Great. There's 68, one of them. And uh, the, the good thing is I can keep defining these scripts in the pools and reuse them everywhere. And each one of them have its own unique pool to uh, plug in, and that's the issue now. The if condition or the conditional uh, statements need to understand or need to know uh, how to send the scripts to these uh, to these pool. One way to do that, one way to do that, and I'm I'm hesitating in doing it, is to make a function that search all the unique pools and see which one fits. For example, uh, the quests have uh, checking um, the variables of the profile. If you've done something in your profile to do the quest, like logging in the game five times, or uh, if you finished a quest in a different game, actually. My engine can uh, share quests and avatars in different games the 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 profile is universal and is connected to the quest system how can the if condition know so one way to do it but i'm really not happy with this way even though it's run only once when the game works 
uh, find all functions string tag because this guy he knows the guy who's going to search that he have the keyword if I run it here oh yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, yeah. um return false Oh, 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 this function is called a lot in the initialize stage, so... Hmm. So he do it in the fly? Hmm. Yeah, he do it in the fly. Hmm. So now, if I use a script, check if the, the side is zero, move two, else move minus two, let's press left. So the script is move minus two, which is correct. The problem is share function doesn't have move function. It has add item to the bag, add mini cluster, set creature visibility, these kinds of general kind of scripts. Set the quest data, show title. It doesn't have move because move is a creature uh, script. So um, how can I tell? if this is a creature script or not. If I'm going to make a function that check all unique uh, scripts, I will have a problem. I cannot use the same keyword in different functions, so I don't want to do that. How to send? I believe you can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. I believe, but this will screw up a lot of things. I believe. I believe I can fly. I believe I can send a function. I believe the function must be the same type. Hmm. Can I use any kind of type of function? That's the question. Delegates. No, delegates need to know. Can I do that? That's the question. Can I do that? Can I do that? <clears throat> yeah, it must be a parameter. Another way is using a switch statement. Should I do that to set? Oh, excuse me. Let me check C sharp. I never done this before. And if I can do it, well, reflection. Should I try reflection? Uh, a lot of people don't like reflections too slow. I tried it only once for experiment long ago. Yeah, C sharp is an old language now. It's not new anymore. How to send fun without parameter? I don't think this is possible. There are similar question, but not exactly like mine. Is there a function equivalent to a function without a return value and without parameters? Your wording is confusing. It perhaps means a function without a return type uh, action, but The T in the action delegate is the input, the void is the output. 
Uh, well, you, you're getting too technical. Did you get the question or not? An action delegate is inherently a delegate returning void. The T is the time for the input. It can act upon the parameters you will at any rate. As this answer and others shows, you can have an action delegate without any T. Hmm. Can I do a delegate? Maybe I need to do, use a delegate. I thought you must define the parameters of delegate. Let me try to use a delegate, even though that will screw me up in the long run, but let's try to do that. Public, static, I don't know, um, the creature, um, tag function, whatever, WTF, yeah, yeah, WTF. What's the <laughs> the signature of delegate? Then okay, okay, okay. Void fancy. Can I do that? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Equal to no. I don't think so. I don't think you can. Uh, I don't think so. Let me go and check where can I find the limits. I can find them in this project. Uh, in the control game I I game I I. Did I delete them? Oh, uh, game I I. Yes. Where did I use them? I used them in the mouse control. Not in the screen resolution. All control initialize are worked. The old game I and I file. I made a major cleanup to this mess. Control and all. Blessing in disguise. Uh, control, control him all. It's your friend. So this is, yeah, yeah, you must have the types. You must have the types. I don't think you can just do action. So if I do um, public delegate action, Mm, WTF. Really? WTF. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. WTF. Um, um, is, uh, 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 WTF, WTF2. And the initialize I do WTF2 T okay 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 WTF WTF3 string string is equal to new action string I uh, don't don't ask me what I'm doing. I I'm trying something. I'm trying something. Uh, what if I um, do this? Aha! Yeah. 
Well, actions can have uh, no parameters. Actually, hmm. A war rapper. Let's do a war rapper. Let's do a freaking war rapper. But how? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do a war rapper. I get. I, 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 I got the idea. I got the idea. I got the idea. I, I got the idea. We need to rub it. As if we didn't have enough for having yesterday. Alright, so where were we? We have conditions. Conditions. I'm going to change how the condition work, I'm, I'm afraid. That's mean we will need to change um, a lot of crap actually. So, uh, the share condition here, pray, it will take an empty action as the used way to search, and no, not empty, we need this, this, this script as well. Man, this is crazy. Man, this is crazy. This is freaking crazy. So, uh, of course, you won't be happy. So, let's. Uh... Oh. 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 Where did I put it? Did I put it before or after? I put it after the, the script, okay. So what we're going to do... I'm going to... Ho, 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 ho. This is stupid. I'm thinking to send this guy itself, but this guy is not an action. But I can send another war wrapper for the war wrapper right now. No. No, actually this guy won't work because this guy take all the statements. For example, in here, I have actually two statements or two scripts. Uh, if and uh, set current animation. I need to use these bulls again. In each one of them, each one of them, I need to go and tell if condition, hey, I wanted to check this, this, and this again. And I'm not happy with this, but uh, in the same time, because I'm happy, not happy with this because this procedure happens only once. But this procedure will happen every time a condition happen. It will uh, evaluate and actually it must do that. It must evaluate and uh, check. But uh... oh, oh, now that's an idea. Okay, okay, what, what I'm thinking is, let me try to make it easier to understand. I have a condition here, right? And every time it fires, it check condition, fire an action with 
the result, which is move two or move two, three. What I'm going to do, I'm going to define actions like uh, check fire. Um, no, this is confusing. Um, name um, check creature pool. Oh, scripts pool. I'm going to define each one of them. I have defi definition like this check um, attack, check map, check whatever. Foo. And this action, I'm going to send it to the uh, the if condition itself, the um, the shared condition. So in the shared condition, we'll receive this action with the uh, scripts with everything. The thing is, every time someone moving and check something. It will go and check these four, uh, not these these four. It will go check these four. So, for example, this guy will check four different pools. This guy will check two different pools. This guy will check six different pools. So when map scripts, map script might be even bigger, uh, have a condition. Every time it asks a question, uh, hey, um, uh, does this creature exist? It will check all the, the bools that the map use. What if after this happen, I replace this function, this action, with the script uh, definition so after finding the right uh, result memorize which action should be used instead of searching it why do you need to specify the size of the pool is check? Surely you just want to check the entire pool of the current action. Um, specific pools have different parameters. Because it send, they send themselves. For example, whenever the creature check the um, for example the approval it sent the creature that's doing uh, the checking so i can access it the quest send the quest itself to check it because the scope of the action so this is an action the scope of the action only see the parameters so each pool have different parameters actually this one have uh, for example profile creature Creature object string, which is the script. This one have only a script. But you know what parameters are needed to the tag? Uh, yeah, I do know the parameters. And if they don't work, actually, I, I make a war wrapper. A war wrapper will go and change the types and send the right types and parameters. The problem is I have only one share function, one condition function for everyone and when the, uh, uh, the um, this is my first test for the condition function so if we go to the condition function where is it oh great i'm lost shared function yeah let's go to this let's go to uh, this let's go to this so this condition function the if and then at the end when it find the result do i move right do i move left it doesn't know which uh pool does it need to check that's my problem here 
Also, that seems slightly spaghetti, no offense, since you have the same parameters leading to a different implementation. Uh, you need to come two days ago to see what the spaghetti is and, uh, and uh, the standardized. Why did I need to make war apps? I really don't want to make war apps on the same parameters for many reasons because it's like putting a converter inside another converter which doesn't need a converting but i had an issue i had an issue and that's why i done it yesterday video i've been uh, working three hours just to solve one issue believe me this engine i've been working on for six years and it's not a small joke this is the old map editor it's a different project to edit the game and this is the new editor. It have major uh, main system changed. The game engine is the skeleton work for the game itself and definition. And you have the game itself project, which have the ports like this for desktop, this for Android, this is and this is the shared logic. It's a lot of work. When you see only one page. And you say it's spaghetti code, you don't know what's behind the code. I'm sorry, but it's a huge amount of work. It's not just one day or two days. But I understand, I understand. It's hard to read other people's code, and I'm not the best to order my own code. I understand. Also, you keep mentioning pools, but the list of specific function, I'm trying to make my language easier to understand. I don't want to use my own terms. Do you pull actions or just naming? It's just I'm naming it. It's uh, it's it's a, it's a dictionary. It's not a pool. It's a dictionary. Pool is used for threads. I have a thread system as well. Yeah, that's all right. I'm trying to make it easier to understand. I I, I actually call it tags. If I keep calling it tags, it will be even more confusing. <laughs> it's a tag script because I used to have an interpreter system. I completely removed it. I completely removed that sucker. It was, I really love that system, but uh, it just gave me grief. It just gave me grief. It was hard to implement the system on. Yeah, computer science. No, no game dev. I only took one class for game dev because my MBC and my government want me to take 15 credit hours, but the university teach three credit hours for full course. It doesn't count the lab. So I must have five freaking classes in one semester. And I took only one game uh, development class to make uh, maps on Unreal, and I was really suck at it. But I studied a lot of theory classes and maps when I was in university in 2010. And in 2003, uh, in 2003, I studied software engineering, but I left the university. I couldn't finish the degree. And when I studied master, I studied computer science and science. I made three different compilers in my life, and I made more than three interpreters. And I made one operation system and I tried to implement uh, GUI in it, but I didn't know the GUI that I was using was duplicated because of the bad documentary. And oh boy, oh boy, GNU.8, I use a, a GNU version 8, but it was duplicated. And it screwed me up, and in the end, I returned back to the tech space of our system. I lost most of the work because it's my old laptop and it's broke and I never fix it. Oh well. Yeah, I'm really bad at game dev. I'm not a game dev. I'm a programmer, pure programmer. That's why I'm doing this, I guess, instead of working on my game. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I will return to work. I uh, Yeah, I need to define the action to use to check which parameters. This will be sad day. I'm going to define all of them in the same page. I'm defining them here. Engine dev is more fun anyway, at least for me. So you're working on your own game engine, eh? What's its name? I wonder if you have some website 
to show it off or something. Maybe streaming your own work. Yeah, I've been watching someone who's working on a skeleton system for uh, Unity as well. It's really fun to watch other people to uh, deal with same problems you're dealing with. So, did I delete the last page? I'm afraid I did. Alright, alright, so we have here. I need a better name, result condition check or... Sometimes longer name is better than shorter name. Sometimes. Can I define it here? Maybe I don't. Maybe I can't. Where to define them? Well, I don't have a camera and I'm not going to do makeup or sometimes I work where, while my uh, t-shirt have ketchup sp uh, split and food and I smell bad and uh, my hair is messy. So I kind of don't care either. I've been streaming on YouTube for four years and I never showed my face. But in blogs, uh, I lost my about page because freaking WordPress and it crashes. I need to remake my about page and I will put my uh, my image with my best friends in there from the US when I used to be in the US. So let's define these in the tag initialize actually. So when we go to the share function, Let's call it here. Who told you to delete the whole thing? Oh, come on. Cannot I do a simple action? Namespace can directly contain members such as field or names. Do I need to make it empty, for example? What did I fuck up? I fucked up something and I'm not sure. Public action foo is equal to is oh yeah. Just make your own static website. Public void condition results initialize. And this one, I will call it in here. Uh, I... Ah, it's not static. I'm screwing up everywhere, I know. Well, it looks static. <laughs> uh, and this one should be not... Uh, oh, wait. No, I need it to be not... Well... Yeah, yeah, static. Sure. I... Game... I and I... All right, so let's remove this sucker. I I'm doing a big shut um, big, 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 big fuck up. I'm not sure. Is it because it's outside of the class? Yes, I'm outside of the class. Congratulations. You won the prize of the biggest fucked up person. So uh, it was outside of the class, that's why. So, uh, public, static, quip, Con res 
fun is equal to you said I can define them immediately right well it's an action but is there a reason to define them in a different time All the members have to be in a class. Yeah, 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 yeah. I um, put it in a different... <laughs> I didn't notice this was outside because I have a very bad habit of having more than one class inside the same file. It's a very bad habit, but uh, what to do? Um, I'm a sole programmer that doing all this work. Unfortunately, I can't show you a lot of results in here because I'm trying to finish this part. I used to show my results in YouTube way much more, but, but, so we can do this, but, um, actually we need a string, we need a string. Maybe I cannot define them outside, it must be defined inside. Okay. Hey. Silly me. Silly me. Silly me. I've been using these for years and I still can't do it right. So what is there? does not take zero argument of course it does so i can define them here hmm. all right so um, in the equipment let me close the ones that uh, deal with the all the statement uh, um, no i'm sending the checkers I'm sending the checkers, so I need an action. Uh, which one are you talking about so it returns an action? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a huge mess. It's a huge mess. So this guy, for example, the equipment will set its own checker, which you need to check these two. So what I'm going to do... And the, the int one as well. This is a sad day to be a programmer, but uh, no, I have the whole keyword in this case. So let's see, let's see. Actually, hmm, hmm. Hmm. Well, thanks, thanks for coming by. This is crazy, and I need to take a break as well. This is freaking crazy. So I have if condition. We didn't test. Uh, uh, multi conditions as well. So then result one, else result two. Result one and two, if they use the same. They must use the same uh, script pool, so forget about it, this question. And is to must, but no, it can be different. We need two different pools, congratulations. Must check 
which um, tag action or function should be used. And here I could could send. What are you going to do with the switch statement then? Hmm. Now I wish if I have an interpreter. I want to have edge cases like these, but everything will be an edge case in that tab as well. This is freaking crazy. I could send res1 and res2 must check which tag function should we use. And here I could send uh, an action to handle that. But the problem is every time the condition is checked, the result will search the pools again I need to find a way to solve this I thought about re replacing the check function with the final result only problem is actually I have more than one problem <laughs> I have many problems now uh, one of the problem is I cannot have more than one statement in here. And this can be solved, but needs some tweak. I believe, didn't I try to solve that last time? The thing is, this is the first actual test for the condition. So this is uh, where everything will fall. And uh, I'm going to see if this will work or not. The problem is I cannot use see my colon as a separator because the whole thing is one statement and it must end with a semicolon and I cannot use a colon because some of the variables like the GUI name and the image name use the column as a separator and the GUI scripts use this as a separator and the time segment, the timer Sigmet uses as a separator and show title uses as a separator. So I cannot use this as a separator. So uh, I never use colon, but that will look silly. Not colon, it's called uh, comma, comma. The problem is different results. Wait. I could replace the result with the actions themselves. How? The problem is different result with might required different from tag action types <sighs> all right all right all right Oh, it is the tag I9. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So here, 
we are actually sending different results to the fine functions. What if, if we return here, yeah, actually this is possible, this is possible, this is completely possible. So here, And instead of returning Jesus Christ and instead of returning uh, results based on this function which I'm going to replace with this function I'm going to try Yeah, I'm going to try to memorize. Is this even possible? Who is sending this sucker? Um, no, this is not possible. What I'm thinking is not possible because... Um, let me delete this for now. Because I was going to send this... Uh, in the condition sending the action to check the, them out and uh, it's not memorized it's generated every time so um, hmm. Let's go one step back. Let's go one step back. Here. There's a way, there's a way. Every time I make a script, I save it and save the action to call it. I could save a third part only if I need in a dictionary for the result actions yeah you see th this is ridiculous for the if condition best part is if i make it work i don't need to reprogram it I have to, 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 uh, either to memorize or search every time, which is better. Definitely to memorize. I mean, I took the uh, data section algorithm class more than once, I guess. I mean, come on, it's an obvious answer. Why do you uh, hesitate to use it? Just because someone called you code is bigoty? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I have two solutions. I don't know how to spell this word, so... Either to...
search every time or memorize? What is your choice? Wait, 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 wait. What's make it more complicated is the share condition doesn't have to be an if condition. It can be any kind of condition, uh, action, condition, uh, function, condition, tag, action, function, condition, script. So, uh, but there, there, there must be a way, there must be a way. Anyway, I need to use the bathroom and I need to take a break, so be right back. <laughs>
I'm back. Let's make a record. <laughs> uh, because uh, it seems I keep hearing the spaghetti code word many times, even from artists. And uh, no of times. Oh. Spare. How to spell the word easier? Let me. He is better than me in spelling. So I'm going to record how many times my code is called spaghetti by the viewers <laughs> just for fun <laughs> and uh, see how far I will reach. Uh, sometimes I deserve it, sometimes I deserve it. I mean, I myself call my code spaghetti when it goes to uh, the extreme, whereas my old code for the action condition system winged, having huge, a huge signature for, uh, for the faction relationship with the uh, creatures in the movement dictionary. Uh, the it use a tuple as a keyword, so um, yeah, it can go really, really bad, really fast when you're not careful with this kind of code. Anyway, let's start the timer. Let's start working, and um, I got a better idea while I'm taking a break. Uh, first of all, let's take a note on. Uh, first of all, let's remove the uh, action here. And I'm going to Yeah, uh, ideas like these huge implementations uh, you, you should slow down before you start implementing them uh, Definitely, so let's close the uh, statements um, organizer you guys who uh, organize how the statements and separate them into scripts and let's see and here we send different types of um, object based on the signature of the type for example the equipment need to know the equipment target and the guy who's holding it uh, the attack need to know the attack and the guy or the character or the object or the weapon that attacking the and so on and so forth uh, some of them and this is the scary part some of them share the um, the parameters But it's alright, it can check both of them. The problem is, it must have a unique name then. The, these two dictionaries, uh, I need to find a way to force them to have different names. What I'm afraid is, if the quests, uh, most of the quests only send, sorry, most of the campaign systems send campaign and a script. Hmm. Hmm. And most of the quests send the same thing. Profile, quest three, quests, and quest uh, step. And see the conversations and the same thing, the campaign and the, the, the script. Hmm. Oof. Yeah, let's see. No, thanks God I made the standardized um, step. So I don't need to worry how the uh, inner um, tags works. The inner scripts work. How do they work? 
they all accept the um, keyword and invoke the parameter. It needs the parameters to invoke. So all of them work in the same way, so I don't need to worry. And the trigger is handled in these steps, in the initialize step. So it's not part of what memorize inside the script tag. This need conversation be. This one need campaign and this is the conversation. And the campaign use campaign and script is similar. Uh, the, these are old ones, that's why they are not in the same order. Usually the newer one always end with the script. These are the first ones I ever dealt with and they have different generic pools that I never used yet. But I'm keeping because I don't, you never know. And I lower their precedence, I don't need them to be checked every time, except if I fail to write a right script, I guess. This one is tmap the object of the objects, and this is creature and I faction. I believe more than one use this signature. Hmm, I can shuffle it if I want it to be more unique. Um, creature, creature. Mm. Items. Items is the only screw, screwed up part, the only edge case I have. <sighs> Pray. Pray. It seems they are unique enough. The only one that's similar is the conversation with the campaign. And the um, attack and attack fire. The relationship between the creature and the attack uh, object or class or system or whatever you call it. And the relationship between the attack and the fires. So, um, what I'm going to do, based on the object type, we're going to make different checks. So we are going to make a function, a static function here. Is it the, 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 the correct place to do that? I mean, let me think, control and all. Whoa, control and all, I said not. Oh, it doesn't close these ones. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sure there is uh, another one that uh, do that. But if I say control and all, control and all, nope. Nope, it doesn't close the the, the sign. You know, you know. Oh well. Anyway, I don't know if this is the best place to put it. Actually, I can't because this is inside a function. Darn it. I guess I will put it in the tag i nine tag i nine class. Yeah. That's the best place. Alright, so what we're going to do. I'm afraid I cannot memorize the thing for now. Let's do this step, and if it works, hmm. Yeah, let's try to do this step. And if it works, then it works. Um, Uh, 
saying, what should I call this? Let me collect these first, or should I just make them? Um... Can I make a switch for the type? So you can do such a thing. Hmm. I asked once or wondered once if I can do such a thing. And apparently you can. Hmm. This can even... Uh... Hmm. Actually, I can do it as a dictionary. But what is the final value? Let me see. Ah, that's the problem. <sighs> Actually, the final value is Boolean. Doesn't matter because we have a war wrapper already. Great. Fool, fool, fucking fool. I don't care about the name now. I just, I'm trying to... Type 
key. No, the return is. Hmm. What am I doing? Now I might need to access the player file. Actually, hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make the signature similar to the uh, share function action, which is the player file. Why he's not happy? Because I missed. No, that doesn't make sense because it depends on the type, we can do different stuff. Well, it will make it easier because we are sending the same parameters that's sent by the, uh, the initializer, so... Uh, I cannot think while there is red mines like these. It give me didn't make an initialize function in here. Did I delete it already? Yeah, I uh, deleted already. Um, so here we could say um, And then
I will for sure you're going to do such a thing. Oh well hmm. If you're going to do such a thing then you need to in this guy so we are going to use a me right hopefully Let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, 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 no. You can immediately do this. Um, EF. Obj. T. Yeah, it's fixed. We can recast it again. This is stupid. This is extremely stupid. Unless if I use T, but... Hmm... Actually, I could use T, can't I? Hmm... I remember in 2011 I tried to use it and it was a new feature in C-Sharp. And... Uh, generics. And I... Uh, failed. Horribly failed. Probably failed. But let, let's give it a try to do it like this. So in here, we could, yeah, th 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 this is the sub part. this work why I can't copy it come on This might work, but let's give it a shot. 
But let's try to uh, test the uh, characters. And that's why I really didn't want to uh, implement conditions in my current way how to do the script because uh, it will get complicated. I thought about remaking my interpreter to fix some old issues in the spacing and and make the logic better with dealing with expressions but uh, no it's a lot of work it's way too much work then it's worth it um, where are we It is one of these. I'm not sure if this is the one or not. That check the creature. Uh... Yeah, the initialize and interact and trigger, but wait. Um, no, 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 not in here at all. Actually, it's in the action approval that's connected to the control system and this one is sending the parameters of nothing just a creature Work. Let's make it complicated. Why? So I can determine if it is action approval or not. Are you sure? Well, you're just using it to trick the system to know which type to check. It's almost like a keyword. Hmm. Then why don't you use a keyword instead? Hmm. So instead of type, you use a string. Hmm. Yeah, I could do that. But then uh, I cannot merge them. So anyway, uh, let's see if this work. And if it work, we will see if we can replace them with strings actually. So, um, Jesus. Why didn't I think about that earlier? Actually, I was going to use a switch in the first place, but I could use even a dictionary instead of switch. Silly me. Can replace type with strings. Just memorize all a list of keywords. I could do that instead. It seems redundant, but it's not in the same time. What bugs me to hell is I can't memorize the result an easy way anyway uh, for now for now for testing sake I'm not even going to turn it into a tuple.
Should I change the type into a function? Yeah, I should. Let me see. Actually, this uh, guy should be in there because here we have find functions like this one uh, find expression and this one the general find share functions. <coughs> Why did I? Maybe th this is the one that uh, I was going to do. Yeah, yeah, it seems as it is. It seems it is. I take the object. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't leave a comment how to do this. So let me see. If object class, but it's only check one. Like if it was one. Unfortunately, it's not only one. So let's make it find. So it has a similar type of the name. So here. I should be able to use it here and send the profile just in case and it take the object as well right so it's take the same signature in here and um, or it depends on the expression like it is no silly you um almost there somehow even though I am not happy with the, the messed up but I can't weak I can't weak it's not the end of the world even if this is a full course not only spaghetti with ice cream and jalapeno and everything mixed up um, The on so here it will invoke it again. So here it will check and invoke. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Oh. Creature, 
No, one billion time I told you. We are dealing with this. Um, no, not this. Uh, this. This is. My head hurts. So here actually we are not adding more than returning and the type that we return actually we're not even returning we are calling give me a second give me a second we are calling directly unless if you want to return the result but the uh, condition, it's... Hmm. 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 Damn, this is complicated. Definitely. Okay, where were we? Where were we? So far, immediately when it gets invoked, it no, it returned a result. It return but this result is invoked. Here. No, no. This invoke is related to this guy. 
So in action request, when I do this, it called this. I believe it's still fast, even if it's search, because the uh, dictionaries are a uh, big O, a big O of one, and uh, depends on the type, maximum it will search six different uh, dictionaries, six of one is one, still one. But what bothers me, um, well, this happens only when it is an if condition as well. But if conditions, I'm trying to use them everywhere, including the smallest kind of detail, character movements and stuff. We will see it's much better than the older code. There's no way to be dead. The question is, it doesn't memorize the condition result. That's what bothers me. So here, actually, we are going to invoke them again. We can make an invoke inside them. Yeah, we can make an invoke inside them. So, uh, can I? Uh, the dictionary hold a type, it hold a function. Then why cannot I invoke it? I don't know. Anyway, 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 anyway. Here we are not adding. What now? Where's this parentheses? Okay. We don't need a wrapper because we're not memorize anything. Well, in this case, it is object. I love it when he's still looking. Oh, I need to cast it. Do a blind test. Mm. 
I really hate most of it, but let's do it. It worked. Not really. Um, I clicked on right. Uh, what just happened? Oh, I didn't replace the file, did I? Maybe I didn't replace the game file, what we'll see. No, actually I did. So it's move only, what happened. Well, yeah, it is move, it is the keyword. Do the action approval have it? No. Does the creature have it? Yes. What's the parameter? So it should be the correct parameters because here it's send the rest. And the rest is, don't kill me, minus two. It will keep doing that because I don't remove the state yet. So uh, let's test it again and we will click right. Unless if I done it by mistake, right. So move. So if we go back, Check side zero, then move two, or else move two, minus two. And the, um, didn't I click right? Actually, give me a second. Actually, I don't need to check the approval. Where is the condition for the creature side? It should be in the creature related. So the check side, what's going on here? Let's click right. Check side if it is zero. And the creature side. So walking right is set it to zero and this one set it to one. It should be zero. The side should be zero. Didn't we call set side with the controller? Give me a second. It's in a creature class. And this is the approve. This is the check side. This is the approve section. This is the move section. Set side. Set side should be first. I forgot to tweet about my stream, darn it. Right. So 
so the side is zero. Check side is zero. The creature side is one. You gotta be kidding me. It is one. Then one. Wow, wow. Oh, don't tell me. <sighs> I believe there's a confusion between the naming, the side of like the bat, the uh, palette. Hopefully not, because only objects support palettes. I don't know what's going on. I need more cleanup to the classes. I keep adding features and not delete some. It keep insisting on going left. Um, it it want to kill me. It just want me to get angry or something. I will click left this time and see the result. The problem is I cannot. Um, actually, I should be able to reset the side, but uh, no. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. It was working yesterday or before it started working. Wait, do you think I fucked up one of these things? I'm interested in this guy does he invoke the function yeah he does okay okay so this is the invocation okay okay no problem so when this guy runs maybe I'll move this guy to there no this is the initialize this guy runs and that guy received the uh, condition. So I clicked right and it's move minus two. The result is wrong. Who sent it? This guy. Uh, this guy checking the condition. He checked the condition. The condition is. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You check the condition expression. Why you didn't show me this code? The condition expression has check side, which is the only one I made. So um, the check side is in here. So I'm going to do this. Um,
So let's do some checking. Don't, 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 don't. Great. So now whenever I press right, it should print the condition before the, uh, so here is zero equal to one. So uh, zero is uh, the one that we are testing for. Right, right. And one is my position, my real position. So uh, one is left actually. Because the default side of the, the, the image is uh, right. And for some reason, it keeps checking, not when I press. Okay, 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 weird. Well, uh, it's an action. Wait. No, the, the check is in the action condition. Okay, in here. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't make a reset yet. It doesn't reset the uh, the state of the character. And when I click left and right, it doesn't change the side for some reason. So something is fucked up. The guy who said the side is fucked up it seems. It didn't switch it into one. The funny part is when I started streaming, it was working. So the logic in here is fucked up. Is two less than one. Is two. That's all equal one. Yes. It doesn't do. What the fudge? Terlele, terlele. Actually, should, should I reverse it? Yeah, because two is a greater than one. It's side. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, do you know why it worked? But no, that doesn't make sense. Because before I was reversing the move function, I made it to minus because I took the code from graffiti and uh, things was uh, not in the correct order. But uh, here, why did I have it like this? It's weird to have an issue in the sitter, not in the checker. Uh, okay. Finally. Took forever, but there you go. So let's remove uh, the debugger. The debugger code. I meant this one. And uh, now this idea is work. Oh, this idea works, but um. And instead of using the type, I could make a list of strings and check the strings. I believe that would be faster. So we can make something like, um, public static uh, list 
string result types the, uh, list is equal to new and then we um, make a list and fill it up so instead of having type in here we have um, string and instead of um, this shit we have the types I don't know, but if you're going to do this, you're going to use switch. You see, the only reason I made this is because I can immediately determine the type from here. Uh, I will ask a stupid question, Google, and see. Is get type fast? We have lots of logging calls and have our logger tech system type parameter so it can switch can show which component created the call sometimes when we can by the way do something like I strongly suspect that get type will take significantly less time than any actual logging, of course, as I've also done our call to logger. Um, yeah, Visual Studio 2015 have uh, very, I don't know if it was 15 or 17. But I believe it's 2015. It shows you the speed of the line when you do uh, debugging, and it's really, really nice for comparison. The problem is there's no quick way to um, to make this uh, possible. I mean, if I want to use a key list, I need to screw up this function or this parameter. I need to add the keyword as well. So, um, so git type, yeah, it's a little bit slow. And speed is really, it does matter because if condition is going to be used everything and everywhere. So it's not, um, a vain concern, not vain concern. I mean, useless concern are coming from nowhere. There's a reason why I'm concerned. Yeah, git tab is built in inside the object uh, class, so I don't think it's...
The best way to do it is if the game is slow, I can go back and make it faster. So that, that's the best way. Man, I, I start to get tired. Already two hours past. I don't know why uh, my... Uh, oh, the data is up. I don't know why it changed. Before I have the data down, and now all of a sudden it's up. I was looking for the clock and I can't see that it's in here. I don't know what happened, but hey. Uh, so yeah, I have been working for an hour, two hour, two hour and a half, and I need to take a break. Two, one, nine, four. But before I take a break, let's take a note. <sighs> let's put it down. In condition and share condition tag the uses object get type if it slow down the um, the game try to replace it with string but that will required to change the parameter to take the keyword in the share condition function there you go oh what uh, uh, I need to test the be right back music it's quite loud on my in my speaker but I need to check the stream video record and see if it's as loud or not. I lower it a little bit and we will see. Be right back.
So it took me more uh, than I expected. Um, where were we? Where were we? Last hour of work. 
Yeah, they get tired. They get tired. Why you're not happy? Because I'm not going to change it to this thing. Yeah, let's get it back. So this, I will only do this when I do this. But I'm not doing this when I am not doing this. So let's go. Do 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 do. All right. So it's working now. So let's turn on the timer. I have a timer that I might put it on the main screen when I work. It show uh, when I'm going to take a break in general, but it doesn't it doesn't matter that much uh, for the viewer. Maybe if I can make a smaller gadget or remake the program to be smaller. It will to fit the stream. So the creature in here, we, um, as I said, because I'm sending a creature in here, unfortunately, we are going to make the thing more complicated to know what the hell is going on. So instead of sending the creature in here, we're going to send a tuple. So uh, I'm going to call it a tuple. Because I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, I'm lazy, lazy. So the topple is, oh god, creature object. Tag first, tag this, tag that, and action request. This is stupid. This is fucking stupid. This is fucking. Even though I don't need the uh, the action request itself, but I'm um, I'm doing this to know which is the sender, which one is the sender. I believe that's it. Now I need to... Um, maybe I need to make a check if it exists. If it doesn't exist, then... Uh, Triton falls. Maybe. I don't know. I could do that. I could do that, but I don't know. I could do that and I can s send a message to the um, log. Yeah, error log. Yeah, l let's do that. Um, if... No, I don't know. Do you really need to know? Yeah, yeah. You, 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 you don't want to get the crashes, do you? Frick me, what the hell? What did I call it? I am in the share function. I forgot how I log. The lily, the lily. Uh, it, it is one of the share functions, but I forgot the name. Yeah, it is error logging. I, I really love it when he uh, mark everything fucked up, like. Give me a break, well, yeah. Mm. 
No, he is not. No, like, no. Well, it is a static function, so no problem. Alright. I can put it in the, the try, yes. Try, try. Um. Are shorts or I to have no exception? Yeah, it's all right, all right. So we log our error. Um, so we will have another condition inside the condition to check these dictionaries every time. I kind of don't like that, but we, what to do? What to do? When the game crash, you want to know what crashed the game, don't you? Anyway. Either I can uh, roam around aimlessly, or I can drink some coffee. And... Um, see what I can do next. So we solved this issue, even though eh, it's not perfect. So, um, here. Now we need to work on the reset, so when I leave the um, keyboard it doesn't uh, keep going, which is not that hard because we already have uh, action reset from the older system, don't we? Let's take a look. It is in the creature object, definitely. This one. Let's go to the old uh, test game and check how it happened before I do anything stupid. Interesting. But where's the default one? I don't see it. Hmm. Uh, 
I mean, this is... Oh, this is the Beholder. And this is a Walker. So if I do this... I don't see the... the uh, where's the definition for uh, Walker? Hmm... So the stack, let's check the stack. Who called this? Action condition reset. This is in the map, right? Yeah. Let's, let's make a general search. No. So I see, I see, I see. So the graffiti should uh, immediately uh, set the value. So, hmm. Why didn't it show it was now then? So let's try that. So let's try that. So uh, one of the guys who, oh wait, six guys, really? Who called this? I thought only the map do it. Oh, when it forced to, to stop the animation. Okay, that's one. On death, that's one. In the map, um, restart. That's one. You said six. I don't see the rest. Oh, the rest are interfaces. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, um, guess who? They, eh, eh, eh. We only uh, remove these so it should work. Whoops. What? What? Oh, oh, wow. Stop, stop, stop. We uh, deleted the old things. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, hmm. Oh, frick, yeah, I... Changed things up. This thing is um, the ac the current actions are called the current actions. I should sure call current actions. What did I call it? It became uh, a dictionary of hashtag. Uh, I was going to say hashtag, hash set. Where is it? Where is it? Active action. It is the active action. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I deleted this one. Hmm. Wait, this is the class. Okay, we can use the... I really deleted this one? Hmm. I could uh, revive it. Maybe I could do that it internally. Hmm. After all the, the, the hmm. 
I, I, I should think about these decisions and make it part of the design instead of just like, oh, we should do this later. For, for now, for now, let's not use it. And let's take a look. It will work for Walker, hopefully. I said hopefully. I know what's the issue. The issue is in here. Uh, tag I know. I changed the type, but I didn't change the uh, this. So um, Do you know how much did you fuck yourself up with this? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. But, um, hmm. These are the conditions, and um, all conditions should be um, receiving objects. And um, the approval is only one of them, so. Maybe I shouldn't.
I, I believe because all of them should be, everything that related to the creature only need to send a creature. So, um, actually this will even, hmm. Okay, 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 okay. How many people? The problem, this guy is called by this guy, not by this guy. If it was called by this guy, then I could subtract it. I'm afraid I'm going to revoke this. I'm going to revoke this. Uh, hopefully, hopefully. Um, fuck this shit. Uh, hopefully, I won't screw it up. Hopefully. So we will go here and revoke this. The, the thing is, it will generate bigger checks because anything that's um, now because this one, for example, will check the action condition. Does it? Does it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I need to make a table or something. Uh, uh, I'm concerned with other types of checks in the future. They're going to use the same guy. So, alright. Now when I move, when I leave my hand, it will stop walking. But no one reset the animation yet. Because the idol doesn't set the animation. In here, set current animation into walk. Uh, default actions setter. And has been removed. Yeah, need to add layer. Now we need to implement idle set C animation. So let's see how easy this will be. So we are going to set the animation for the idle, and we are going to use this animation. I replace the game file by using this technique and pray. There you go. As easy as that, as long as it doesn't fuck up. We just write one script and it works. Okay. Actually, it's not as easy because now we need to set the 
idle 2 and idle 3, but not immediately. Let's slow down, let's slow down, let's slow down. Do you want to sit idle 3 and uh, down? Yeah, I have an issue with the if conditions results doesn't support multiple scripts. If I want to make something complex inside this script, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said I will um, define different kind of conditions if I want to make different, uh, more complex stuff. Uh, so this one is only used to uh, support one simple result, if and else. Um, hmm. actually, so far I've done a good achievement. I could uh, be happy what I've done already, but uh, I will try to keep working for 30 minutes more. Uh, this thing, this thing, this thing, um, I'm really happy that uh, I generated a way to pick different kind of uh, functions on the F result. But uh, for now, let me test this. How fast it is it? So where's the speed? Really? One millisecond, that's it? I don't believe that. This one took some time to check if it contained. The funny part is, this one is much faster. Huh. Are you kidding me? How the hell did that happen? Yeah, 2,500, and this is less. Weird. Even the get part is less than one millisecond. I don't get it. I don't know what's this green uh, arrow, by the way. I thought it's... Uh, it's um it's how fast this part is, but no, it's run the execution says. Oops. Well it says it's fast enough, so whatever. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, this works perfectly, just didn't even take, the problem is making multiple uh, animation. Before, in the old engine, I used hard-coded uh, condition. It was my first system ever that tried to deal with uh, scripts. And if there is no condition in here, it 
you choose them randomly but they don't play once and it's screwed up it's completely screwed up so i will try to later on to make a um, special type of conditions to select which kind of animation is played to simplify that and after that I will make a special page in here to make these choices easier but all of them are used to generate one script I might use the uh, macro editor instead and uh, memorize these um, signatures in there Yeah, later on, I'm not, um, later on. Implement conditions to decide between idle 2 and idle 3. Yeah, I can show you in here. The character just pick up the random uh, idle animation. Oh, actually, it works as um, you know. Uh, what do you call it? It it play completely before it switch. But 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 the code is freaking ugly. The code is freaking ugly. I'm not happy with it. So uh, instead of doing this, if you wait too long, he will take a cigar and take a buff if he is damaged below 20 percent or something he will hold his hand and it will continue holding his hand and he won't buff the cigar so um we have two conditions one that will increment the time how long you've been idle and uh, the second condition only if you're not damaged if you're damaged it won't increment that number and if it reached a certain number, it will check and play the um, cigar animation idle free, and then reset the timer. And only when you're idle, the timer will increment. So all of the script will be in this little box in here for the idle. But for now, let's, oh God. Let's try to check for walls and cancel the walk if there is a wall. So the first thing what we need to do is to add a wall. Oh wow, my image is fucked up, really? How did that happen? Huh. I never seen this error before. I mean, what the hell happened? I'm really not in the mood to track up errors. Huh. I mean, this one is one pixel fucked up, but... Interesting. What is this? <laughs> I don't remember this. 
No, seriously. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. These are the flags, the free flags. Okay. I don't remember I had this ever. I mean, what the hell is this? Since when do I have this feature? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Let me check the size. Did I add a wrong size by mistake? Yep. This is the wrong size, my friend. How did the hell happen? So let's put the flag for a solid. Save. Go to script with it. Does it replace the maps as well? I don't remember. And replace both. I don't. Uh, oh god. Oh, I didn't select the. Uh, campaign I don't remember if to replace the maps or not um okay let's go and check I don't think uh, it replaced the maps I'm afraid something fucked up oh because I need to update the uh, the content. Come on, open the damn thing. What now? Oh yeah, it's it's a weird behavior when you add stuff it will bring up the project pack. It feels like an error happened. Yeah, I must uh, I requested the jump, but I didn't program anything that related to jump because I press space because I feel like I'm playing. No, no, I'm used to jump a lot in when testing map two. Uh, um, I need to make um an option to copy the maps as well. Yeah, I need to do that. Test camp two. Yeah. Where am I going? Wrong folder. Wrong folder. I'm going to test three, right? Right. Not test two, test three. Oh god, my head. I, I feel I want to click randomly. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, for some reason it runs into the stuff. That's why I'm confused. 
even though I'm dealing with a shared function, which is good, which is good. I should put a background, even though this is testing new project and stuff. So these walls should be solid, but because in the script it doesn't check, oh wow, they are far away, way too far. Because my uh, check are not checking the walls. Um, it doesn't check the walls because it's not hard coded anymore. So what we're going to do, we're going to place closer walls because these are way too far. So these are from the map simulator. Add a way to replace the maps from map from the game. By the map simulator ones. So we will add an option to make this easier. That's me. I need to add a backup for them as well. So uh, how to check walls in the old code? Let's go and check the old code. Do I really want to check this? Yep, check it. Uh, hopefully it will be smooth. Um, Yeah, some bots left some links. I shouldn't even turn my head to it. Oh my god. Yeah, this is how to pick different results. And it's just fucking ugly. It's a disaster. It's a huge disaster. The only reason I kept it is because I was trying to get the game as fast as possible. And um, adding more features to the engine in the Ravis uh, sec section is uh, it's not good, it's just not good. Even the way the collision and particle, I kind of don't like it. I might replace it. Slowly, slowly, I need to replace each one of them. I believe it's on a particle. I believe it's on a particle. I done this long time ago and I don't remember. Uh, but I believe it's in the particle, which is part of the map. Yep.
So Shaq Wall can return a boolean depends on and it's a particle law function so it can be called from the creature. So what we're going to do we are going to class the new thing in here and we're going to the creature class Do you know what I'm going to do? No, no. Hmm. If I'm going to make a check in here, it will keep uh, the animation running, and uh, that's not a good idea. Um. Focus it's in here. So actually, We could make the move set the animation. That won't work for one reason. Because Different character can have different kinds of movements and different kind of names for movement. Unless if I'm going to make move except the name of animation. What I'm thinking is, what I'm thinking is, I'm going to make another function called move and call the second one move check where x is equal to cro check wall x zero and then x zero and similar to that, How can you decide on other? Um, if I'm going to do this,
asset animation if it's not empty then CRO set C animation with the set animation so what we're going to do we are going to try Yeah, it will be easier when I have, uh, or, or when I implement my uh, script, my micro builder, it will be easier to deal with scripts. But for now, we will use this notepad. Uh, so uh, move C, move C. Uh, what bothers me is how to implement jump and float and the rest of the guys when uh, you by using this, but we will see. Save. Pray. Nope, didn't check. Oh, it's check and failed. Of course, it won't be easy to see if it's solid or not. But Why? Do we have one? Really? When did I... I want to, to remove the system, the system is sucks. I mean, I was trying to make dynamic things like now, but... Uh, Sigh, 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 sigh. It is zero, so... Uh, oh. Fuck me, man. <laughs> 
fuck me. Um. I don't know. And I'm too tired to check, but I don't know. Um, but I thought he... What's just going on? Where's particle? I don't see the particle class anymore. But now... Okay. I thought we should be in here, you know. Here, this part. But no, we jumped here. What the hell is going on? And I don't know where this is. Oh, great. Ragnarok just crashed. And I didn't do my daily price. And it screwed everything for me. That's what I need. Maybe because I'm debugging too much. Um, slowly, what's going on? What's going on is I'm using a function and I'm not sure how it behave. Okay, go back and check how it behave. Can you? Can you? Can you? So it should be here, right? Because I removed a chunk of functions and stuff. So I might screw up. No. It's actually check the one below. So this rock is solid. I, I, I made that on purpose. And this wall is this uh, whatever it is bridge, but for uh, top down games is not solid but this one is solid so actually it will stop me if i go this so uh, no actually it uh, goes here so uh, if i move yeah, it goes here, and this, I believe it goes here. It looks like a spaghetti code, yeah, but my engine can have many flags, and deals with different things. Okay, it's a faction. So this one is checking all the uh, factions and see if I can pass them or not. So civilian, for example, the NBCs in Link 2, you can pass them, but the enemies, I don't know how they behave to be honest. But um, I can make them check if you can pass them or not. I should turn this from um, property into um, whatever it's called. Um, from uh, function into property. So it should return this, right? Yeah, it should return this. So if I go to there.
But the question is, Can you tell if I'm tired or not? All right, all right, all right. So in other words, Oh, because it didn't detect. Okay, okay, now I see what's going on. It didn't detect any tills. Okay, okay, okay. So tills are. So false, actually, that means there's no solid object. Okay, 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 okay. So actually, we should move when it is false. So in the condition in here. If this is false, So solids, I believe I don't need this, but uh, for some reason, it's still it said the animation, maybe because it doesn't get reset, or maybe because Okay, let's test it and see. At least it worked, but um, yeah. My left on the keyboard start to become broken, isn't it? Just like down. My, my keyboard, I haven't changed my keyboard for years. Um, the question is, how can I stop him from doing this? Does the old game do that too? So let's open the old game. The old engine. Well, the game as well is programmed on the game engine, so the game file look different. No, he doesn't. So it cancel the action condition hmm. so actually this thing need to be approved or need to be uh, yeah 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 uh, this condition need to be set not in the step but in the approval step to to do that so here uh, if you attended the last two records, but I don't think so because I didn't record the la the first stream two days ago, so it's lost forever. Uh, I need to change stuff. I need to make approval conditional. I need to make a condition for approval. So it check if there is a wall, it doesn't send walk at all. In that time, it won't go to set animation and do all of that. 
it won't even fire the action condition uh, because there's a wall there's a wall you don't move there's no wall then it check the values and do all the things so actually that's what I'm going to do next so we um, did this instead of checking for walls inside the action condition make the condition in the approval um, section if there is a wall don't approve a walk a action and there you go that will solve the issue and that's why I have a spaghetti code <laughs> as my brother said don't let these kinds of talks put you down um, that's it for today we done good achievements we um, first time make conditions and connect the condition results with different kinds of uh, um it's a, a little bit wanky but whatever uh, it check every time the bulls depends on the type of the object that's sent to the uh, to the condition and for example for creatures it will check both bulls but these shouldn't be this um it should actually i will do it from there completely from there so here so this one doesn't show mm. frick it's uh, 1800 milliseconds maybe it is slow is it It seems this is not the total, is it? I mean, this cannot be less than one millisecond. Oh, well, because you, you stupid you, stupid you, stupid you. And this one says less than one second as well, a millisecond. Now, how can I trust this? I don't know. Uh, click to open that access tool up to since the previous pick. Oh. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Is that mean the total of these two? I don't know. I don't know how it's this calculated. So, um, to be honest, I have no clue how this is calculated. I need to learn. I thought this is the statement of this, but it says uh, on the uh, up to one millisecond elapsed since the previous breakpoint. So I want to know this. How long does it take? And does that mean it's calculate the return? I don't want to calculate the return, I want to calculate this, but yeah, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm sick, I have no clue how to calculate it, but anyway, uh, as I said, I shouldn't worry too much about it, after all, I'm abusing the actions and dictionaries a lot, and both of them are fast, hopefully. Good bro.
progress. Good amount of progress. Um, thank you very much for watching and feel free to ask questions and stuff. And see you next time.